back to another video of Master IV Fluid course. Last video we said for volume resuscitation, it's easy, either lactated ringer or normal saline. And you pick one of those and you will be right. And we said, if you cannot make calculation, you don't want to think just for any patient, give two to three liters to start with a fluid bolus and you will always be right. As I said, the only limiting factor of giving that is developing pulmonary edema. And the other thing, usually with cardiogenic shock, we don't give this volume resuscitation, right? Now, is there any specific condition that will make me, specific condition will make me favor this or this? Okay, so with normal saline, you know, we don't have anything. We don't have potassium, lactate, or anything. So there is risk of hyperchloremic normal and in gap metabolic acidosis so some says if the patient already acidotic from shock and you give normal saline this may worsen the acidosis which will make things worse right again and then if you use vasopressor vasopressor effectiveness is less with more acidosis theoretically you can say yeah that's right but the whole goal of giving volume is to restore hemodynamic stability and reverse the production of acids, right? So you can argue with that as well. So if you don't want to think about this acidose things at all, then this is the solution you, you can pick and nobody can blame you, right? So you don't worry about worsening of acidosis here, right? Uh, so because you don't develop this hyperchloromic metabolic acidosis because you have lactate and lactate the infuse the liver make lactate or convert lactate to bicarb so that means you need to be careful of somebody with severe hepatic impairment severe liver disease because they cannot convert the lactate into bicarb so as if you don't have it right and the lactate can accumulate and cause problems. So if you worry about that too much, you can't think of normal saline. Okay. Also, if you have hypercalcemia, let's say you have pancreatitis from hypercalcemia. Remember, LR has some calcium, which is very, it's, it's minimal. It's, I think two or three mil equivalent in each liter. But if you worry about hypercalcemia, you can pick normal saline. Also, hyperkalemia. Lactated ringer has has potassium, which is again very small amount, formally equivalent, but it may not, it may not make sense if you have somebody treating for critical hyperkalemia to give them more potassium with lactated ringer. So you pick normal saline; it will make more sense. But again, the amount of potassium is really little there. So these are the main differences. So if you worried more about acidosis, pick LR. If you worried about severe hepatic impairment or hypercalcemia or hyperkalemia, you pick normal saline. So hopefully we'll make it easy for you. In practical situations, it's really easy to pick either one. And as I said, whether you pick this or this, 99% of the time you are okay. Now, next video will start go into more specific of volume resuscitation in each conditions but if you know this and the fact giving two to three liter you should be okay the uh, starting the uh, like with the resuscitation and remember vasopressor can be started if the patient remain hypotensive despite fluid resuscitation can i start vasopressor and fluid resuscitation at the same time it's possible in very severe hypotension, although as I explained in my vasopressor episodes, which is on, on the channel, that if you are volume depleted, your vasopressor will not work properly. So it's very important to adequately resuscitate this patient. Another practical point, going to four liter, is it bad idea? Not much. Again, you monitor vital signs, urine output, monitor uh, other clinical things like lactic acid and that stuff to see as uh, can tear capillary refills all of these to see if your fluid resuscitation is adequate
and you monitor the other sign of volume overload pulmonary edema now let's say the patient is still hemodynamically unstable is still capillary feel slow and signs of volume depletion you continue with this but again next video we'll go into more specific on volume resuscitation septic shock acute pancreatitis dk etc i'll see you next video thanks for watching this video please subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell so you get to see the videos as soon as they are released Glad to have you on board.